let's say you just won $20 million in the lottery. In an instant, you've gone from ordinary person to mega wealthy. And you would think that now that you've got $20 million, that there are a lot of financial advisors in your area that could help you coordinate all your financial affairs. In this video, we're going to talk about the structure of financial advisory firms. I'm not going to presume to speak on behalf of your firm or any firm in particular. I'm just going to talk about what often financial firms are not. And we're going to kind of bust a few myths about what the public thinks about our industry. So it's certainly true that the public thinks, oh, wow, if I came into millions and millions of dollars, I'd be able to hire lots of firms to help me organize and, and coordinate all of this newfound wealth, this windfall. Maybe yes, maybe no, but let's go through it. So what does it mean? And what is the client looking for? Now that they've just had $20 million plopped in their lap. Well, they've got a different set of challenges and they've got an awful lot of decisions that they need to be guided through, not to mention the number of financial issues across the different areas that they're going to now have to navigate that they were unfamiliar with before. So if you were to state it a little bit differently, I'd go along with the fact that there are many firms out there. If you were to say it this way, I'd be, I'd be more inclined to, to buy into it. And if you were to say, look, if I won a $20 million lottery, I could go out and I could find a financial planner that is used to and skilled and experienced at dealing with financial planning, focusing on my financial goals that are used to dealing with clients like me, $20 million or more. Yes, I'd buy that. And then if you were to, in addition to that, say, then when I've got that person hired or firm, then I could probably go out and find a tax firm that is accustomed to coordinating tax planning and tax strategy for individuals or businesses that have $20 million or more. Absolutely. I'm with you all the way on that. And then you would say, and, and then after I've hired them, I could go out and I could hire an estate planning lawyer who is very skilled, very experienced with dealing with people like me who have estates that are going to be in excess of $20 million. Absolutely. I, I have no doubt that is true. And then you're going to say, in, in addition to that, once I've got them hired, I'm going to go out and I'm going to find a money manager an investment manager. I'm going to go find some sort of a, an individual, maybe a chartered financial analyst, maybe a boutique money manager, but I, I know I can go out and find someone that when the plan is created, they could actually deploy my $20 million and monitor it over time so that it's on track to my financial objectives. In other words, I could hire an investment management firm that's used to managing $20 million or more and manage it effectively and suitably for my objectives. Totally granted. And then you were to say, and I'm pretty sure I could go out there after I've hired all of them and I could hire, I could go out and find an insurance agent, auto, homeowners, the type of insurance agent that's accustomed to insuring mega mansions and all kinds of fun toys like we're going to have. We're going to have yachts, SUVs, and I'm going to have probably a million dollar motor coach and all this water and sea dews and everything like that. So I need an insurance agent that is skilled and experienced at making sure that an affluent person worth $20 million and all their various whatever toys they have are adequately insured and so forth. And while we're talking about estate planning, I'm sure once we picked an estate planning lawyer to create our wills and trusts and powers of attorney and all that sort of thing, because they're used to dealing with people with $20 million, I'm sure they have someone in that firm 
I don't know, let's call it a transaction attorney that could look at this newfound situation that I find me, myself in and could help me create a structure, maybe an entity or something that would help me protect my newfound windfall $20 million from outside forces that are, are trying to meet with me and talk to me about business opportunities. And it's funny when I didn't have any money, I had a small circle of friends since I got 20 million. I'm everybody's friend. And from my in-laws to people I hadn't talked to in 20 years, all of a sudden they're coming out of the woodwork and they want to sit down and talk about something involving money. So I need a lawyer that can sit down and <clears throat> protect me, not from the people that I know and love and care about, but more like protect my financial future. So to, to set up a structure somehow, some way that it's protected from outside forces. Uh, so all I'm saying is the idea of walking into a single firm, let's call it a multifamily office or something along that line and truly getting everything that I just described in one place. I've looked into this quite a bit. I've been in the business <laughs> over 40 years. I've run what I would describe as multifamily office. And I, I am here to tell you that if you win $20 million and you expect that level of coordination and teamwork and being able to walk into a single firm to coordinate all of what I just described, uh, Good luck. I don't think it exists. Let's put it this way. I've spent the last 25 years training advisors on how to build a structure like this. And I can tell you, if you build a structure anywhere close to what I just described, you are likely to be the only game in town. It's very, very likely that there's not another other firm in your area that delivers that level of coordination at that level. So consider yourself lucky if you have the work ethic and the, the resolve and the inclination to be the firm in your area that can coordinate all of this at a very high level. Well, I can tell you that once you've got it in place, the chances that you have competition is statistically zero. And we've got data on this. There are four client expectations that really drive this business. When we talk about what are the expectations of affluent, successful people. And I've done a lot of videos on this. So you might check out some of the other ones, but of these four client expectations, uh, you, you'll find a lot of firms that will commit to one of the four, but to find one firm with two of the client expectations is rare and to find all four is statistically zero. So your job, if you want to get into this area, if you want to take your business, your coordination of financial affairs to the next level, you can, you it's listen, this level of service is not for every client. It's not even what every client is looking for. All I'm saying is if they are, then you can be the only game in town. You can make a decision to implement a model that can deliver at that high level in a way that they don't have to go hire all these people the way I just described. And then what, what happens then who coordinates them? The client, like they're not going to, I mean, you have this vision that the way this works is all these firms talk to each other and collaborate. They're constantly on the phone talking about this $20 million client and how can they coordinate their efforts to really have an effective strategy for the client. This is not the way it typically works. However, you can be the firm that creates that coordination and you can take this off the client's mind. And it's not that you have to deliver all these services. You don't, you assemble the services instead of the client. And then you be the one that steps up and you volunteer to the client. You say, I will coordinate all these financial professionals. I will make sure they each have a strategy. I'll make sure that they keep their tactics updated and that they measure success to make sure you're always on track. And I'll be the one to make sure everything gets done. They're each going to create a list of action items of things that need to get done to keep things on track. That's fine. I won't do everything on that list, but I promise you, Mr. And Mrs. Client, I will make sure everything on that list gets done. I will hold the team accountable. I will hold you some things, Mr. And Mrs. Client, only you can do and I will hold you accountable to those. But you hire me, I will coordinate your team, I will assemble your team, I'll lead the team, I'll make sure everything gets done. 
You'll always be on track to your goals. There'll never be any financial surprises that could have been avoided by extraordinary planning. And you will make better, smarter decisions on your finances in areas other than just investments or tax. So with that, you have a little bit better definition. And the, the only purpose of this video really was to bust the myth that the public has that it'd be easy. If I had $20 million, be I could hire, there's probably a jillion firms I could hire to coordinate everything. And I will admit there's some of the big accounting firms that you could hire, but we're talking about a difference in the six figure range, multi six figure range as to what it would cost. If you're an entrepreneur, who is skilled in one of the areas of finance and you can help a client and add value in at least one of the areas of personal finance, there's nothing that says you can't raise your hand and volunteer to step up and take that off the clients, off their lap and help them coordinate to make sure everything is current, everything, every strategy is updated regularly, all the tactics are proactive and reviewed frequently, and you'll make sure everything gets done. And it's hard to believe, but that's a whole business in and of itself. So I hope this was helpful.